everyone, I'm Jasmine Daskal. If you're wondering what the buzz is around this weekend in Deerfield Beach, I'm at the Deerfield Food and Wine Festival at Quiet Waters Park, and you're watching Popel TV. I'm with Russell here, the founder of the third annual Deerfield Food and Wine Festival. Russell, can you tell me what exactly is going on this weekend? This weekend, we have the vineyard party on Friday night. As you can see, there's over 15 different food stations, there's 20 wine stations from around the world, and then we have our new beer garden this year. And at the opposite side of the festival, we have the VIP Dinner Under the Stars sit-down dinner, one long royal table of 70 people. Every year, the honorary chair hosts a VIP dinner under the stars. So this year I went with an Italian themed dinner. My VIP and sponsor guests are enjoying a five course wine and food pairing dinner. They have their own chef who is cooking right by their side and they have their own sommelier which is taking them through five flights. So it's a pampered evening for our VIP and sponsor guests. Um, have you done this each year and would you say the attendance rate grows each year? Our very first year that we produced the Deerfield Beach Wine and Food Festival it was a one day, four hour event. And now it is a three day, four event. So we start our weekend off here tonight with the Dinner Under the Stars. On the opposite side of our festival grounds is our vineyard party, which is a launch party of the weekend. Tomorrow night's our grand tasting, where we'll have over 60 tasting stations here. And then Sunday, we close out our festival with our jazz, bubbles, and brunch. It's very um, enjoyable, and the food tastes good. Very tender calamari, and we're, we're having a great time today. It is our first time. And we brought some friends over and family, so we would absolutely come back. We just started with the first course. It's a salad and it's wonderful. We got our friends here and it's fantastic. Beautiful weather, having a great time. Under the star, we start off with uh, an appetizer of grilled calamari and octopus with a touch of a lemon vinaigrette, served on a bed of an arugula with cherry tomato and topped with some uh, fresh goat cheese. As a pasta dish, one of our top dishes that we have at uh, Angelo Station House is a fiocchi. Fiocchi, it is a pasta homemade and has four different cheese and a little bit of a honey uh, sweet pear inside all together. And we serve with a mascarpone and a cream sauce, a little, again, with a little touch of cheese. Our uh, main event of the evening, we have a natural chicken, uh, no homegrown, a special breast of chicken and it's stuffed with roasted peppers and prosciutto and mozzarella and we're going to serve that in a, a sage brown butter sauce with white wine and a touch of brandy and we're going to serve that also with some local uh, vegetable from the Pedro family uh, farm in the in uh, Delray, which they have given us some beautiful red peppers and some string beans with a little bit of a garlic and almondine sauce and we're going to top that with a house special dessert which is my version of the three-layer tiramisu, which is a one of our house a special dessert with the ladies finger mascarpone cheese with a little coffee liqueur topped with mascarpone. Hi, what's Hi. your name? My name is Ali from Cali, Hanley Sellers. Um, Ali, is this your first time doing this at the third annual Deerfield Food and Wine Festival? It absolutely is, yes. Can you tell us what's so special about your wine that makes it, that sets it apart from everyone else's? Sure. Um, first, I like to say it's made by a woman. You don't always find someone who owns her own winery. And then they keep you guessing. They're going to smell flowery and sweet. They're going to taste nice and dry. So it's kind of a hidden little part of California. Mendocino County isn't part of Napa or Sonoma. And so we just get, you know, the people who are a little more adventurous, a little more off the beaten path. I say you had to fall down the rabbit's hole to get there and everyone's drinking tea, so it's a special little wonderland. What's your favorite part about the festival? The wine. The wine. <laughs> I like the sweet stuff, so I like the white, sweet, Moscato, Riesling. Mine's a Chardonnay. And I like the reds. There's over 200 vendors that make up the entire festival and it's four months of planning seven days a week. What do you say is special about your drinks that sets it apart from others? We're all natural, number one, so uh, we don't use any artificial ingredients. We're basically just fruit juice, uh, vegetable juice for color, carbonated water, ginseng, and cane sugar. 
So what exactly is it, these drinks? It's an all-natural, chef-inspired sparkling water. Um, we're local from West Palm Beach, Florida. You can find us in Publix and also Whole Foods. This is our first time here at the Food. Can you tell me what you're doing tonight, what you're promoting? Uh, we're promoting raw, unfiltered honey. We definitely try and hit amazing different flavors and varietals of honey so that people can really understand that there is, you know, a, a terroir, so to say, of honey. And people should really care about, A, where their food's coming from and where their honey's coming from. And, you know, we want to have that dialogue with people. What's your favorite flavor of honey? Because I see a lot of really different interesting flavors like mangrove, orange blossom. They're very different. I want to know what your favorite is. Oh dear, they've all been my favorite, honestly. I'm currently uh, like loving my orange blossom because I am allergic to oak and that's captured within the orange blossom. So I'm using it, I'm taking my tablespoon a day of my orange blossoms. So that's my favorite right now because it's like my best friend and it's helping me with my allergies. But um, they've all been my favorite, honestly. Being the fact that it's in our third year, we started off the first year as a one day event. And it was a four hour event. The second year, we kicked it up a notch. So we did three events over the two days. Then now we're in our third year, we're doing three days, which is pretty remarkable, only in our third year, and now we have a total of four events over those three days. I'm Jasmine Daskal here at the third annual Deerfield Food and Wine Festival, and you're watching Propel TV.